jailed for at least 25 years each for murdering their own daughter. Ifikar and Fazana Ahmed suffocated 17-year-old Shafilia in an apparent honour killing. The couple were convicted by a jury of murdering their westernised daughter with a plastic bag because they believed she'd brought shame on the family. Their daughter Alicia gave damning testimony against her parents at Chester Crown Court. She said her parents pushed Shafilia onto the settee in their house and heard her mother say, just finish it here, as they forced a plastic bag into the teenager's mouth and killed her in front of their other children. Police were so convinced Shafilia had been killed by her parents, they bugged the family home to listen in on conversations. The covert listening device was placed in the family home in November 2003, three months before Shafilia's body was discovered, and a series of recordings were made. <laughs> Ifikar and Fazana Ahmed appeared to know that they might be under surveillance and feared their phones had been tapped. Nevertheless, the couple had a series of conversations which were caught on tape, in which they talked about how they could get away with murder and how best to use the media to their advantage. Ifikar Ahmed stood impassively as the verdicts were given. His wife wiped tears from her eyes with a tissue. Their children, Junyad, Mevish and the youngest, who cannot be named for legal reasons, all broke down in tears. Shafilia Ahmed was murdered by her own parents, prosecutors say, for bringing shame on her family. Today, one of them changed their story. Her mother, Fazana Ahmed, has for the last eight weeks denied her eldest daughter suffered any violence at home before she disappeared nine years ago. But jurors trying her and husband Iftika were today told of a significant development in the trial. On the evening Shafila disappeared from her home in Warrington, Mrs. Ahmed says she came downstairs to find her husband attacking her daughter. In her news statement, Mrs. Ahmed says she was punched by her husband when she tried to intervene and left the room. Later, when she asked where Shafila had gone, her husband said, If you care for your dear life and that of your children, don't ever ask me this question again. Shafilia's body was found on a river bank in Cumbria the following year. Fazana Ahmed's new version of what happened to her daughter will be heard in full tomorrow. John Clements, ITV News. Shafilia Ahmed, a 17-year-old schoolgirl murdered by her own parents. Why? Because they thought she was becoming too westernised and were ashamed of her. When her body was found early in 2004, Iftikhar and Farzana Ahmad played the part of the devastated parents. A picture of grief and innocence, they appealed for help. I mean, we just wish for somebody could tell us what happened to us. We appeal to the public, if anybody knows anything, to come forward. But they knew exactly what had happened. They had killed Shafilia with their bare hands, using a plastic bag to suffocate her. The little girl they had nurtured had rebelled against her strict upbringing. Months before she died, the teenager had filled in a housing form, saying she wanted to move out because she feared she would be married off. Shafilia's body was found near Kendall in Cumbria, six months after she was murdered. Well, with me now is Detective Superintendent Geraint Jones. In 2008, the case was featured on Crime Watch. Clearly someone has gone into to some length to dispose of Shafili's body. I can't see that being a stranger. Someone connected to Shafili has done that. The finger of suspicion has long pointed at her parents who kept up the lie, even turning up at a news conference to protest their innocence. They strenuously deny any direct or indirect involvement in their daughter's untimely demise. If called upon to do so, they will not hesitate to defend their good and unblemished names in any court in this land. And the lie held for seven years until another of their daughters came forward with the truth. 23-year-old Alicia Ahmed gave evidence from behind a screen in their trial telling the court she had seen both her parents suffocate her sister and then wrap her body up in bin bags. 
and it was that damning evidence which finally saw the Ahmeds convicted of murder. If there is one thing that we pray will come from this, it is that her beautiful, beautiful face and tragic story will inspire others to seek help that make them realise that this kind of vile treatment, no matter what culture or background they are from, is not acceptable and there is a way out. Nearly a decade on, we now know that this girl was killed by the two people who should have loved her the most. Danny Savage, BBC News, at Chester Crown Court.